How you doing guys from Bangkok? We just check into our apartment, uh, still uh, in Bangkok on the Sukhumvit Road somewhere. Now we are heading to Chinatown because it's Chinese New Year. So, so much is going on in Chinatown and many of you guys asking us to go to Chinatown. But before that, we had a very busy afternoon. We were in the mall because our microphones were broken. So we got brand new microphones right now. I hope so. My voice is very good now because yesterday was something not good. All right, so our microphone is broken basically and then we go to the central mall and then we plan to buy the new microphone. This is our investment. So we test our microphone set now. Just hold this normally, naturally. Okay. Let's try. Okay, that's the, our set. We are checking this lovely guy. Thank you so much. Okay, how much is it? So we changing the microphone because yesterday the audio was very bad, so it's broken. It's 400 US. It's about 13,000 bahts and it's DJI, the same company like a drone. So hopefully it's gonna work very well. I hope so you're gonna enjoy because we're starting our adventure in Bangkok with the big investment. <laughs> so we just moved to the new condominium. I think that we will stay here for one month or something like that. I don't know, probably we extend until three months. We are not sure yet about our plan. But later on, maybe we will make a separate videos about our condo tour. So yeah. We are waiting to buy the metro cards, but check this out. This crowd everywhere around unbelievable check this out Asok. all right so we just arrived in Wat Mangkon MRT and I bought my MRT card It's actually um, you know I have to buy it with my passport so easy for me later on you know to tap and then say forward go but if you didn't want to buy using passport there is also machine to buy the ticket wherever you go with the coin but for me this one is easy just buy one time and go so now we are in Chinatown. So basically, if you want to come to Chinatown, you have to come to this uh, Wat Kong metro station, and there are boys playing here. Actually, they stopped right now. But this is Chinese New Year weekend, so it's very crowded. This is just to the metro station, and one of these small streets leading to Chinatown itself, actually. So we're gonna show you, oops, sorry, show you as much as possible. As you can see, this is just the entrance and it's busy already. So the main street must be very busy, obviously, right? And since the beginning, since just the metro station, there's plenty of very tasty foods everywhere around. Traditional outfit here for Chinese New Year. But let's get inside, check this out. People already enjoying their beers, their food. <laughs> so cool, huh? Uh, always the Chinatowns are vibrant everywhere, wherever you are. But this one in Bangkok is a little bit different. It's very vibrant and very busy. Okay, now it's Chinese New Year, so obviously it's busier. But even in normal time, when I was in during the wet season, I was last time in October, it was busy already. Say, so, what do you think? Very vibrant at Chinatown, isn't it? Wow, I think that this, the for the Chinatown in Southeast Asian countries, we were in, you know, Singapore, we were in Malaysia. Now we are in Chinatown in Thailand. So what I can see here is super duper busy and more alive, you and know? You, and you didn't get to the main street yet. <laughs> this is just the side street. Okay, let's get inside the big street now. Look at this one. This guy have a crocodile satay. I don't. I mean, it's real head of crocodile or something. You can chicken, pork, crocodile, and beef. This is real crocodile satay, actually. Say, crocodile satay. We take it. Oh. No. <laughs> let's uh, go. <laughs> the crocodile satay. That's something very interesting. Very interesting. So people wearing the Chinese outfits here, having a lunch on the street side. And yeah, this is actually almost the corner uh, where we are entering to the main street. They're cooking here, I think, the pad thai or something. Uh, so much options today. We're gonna show you a little bit more about the Chinatown today. I hope so you don't mind because, well, it's special event for that. And it's also so much going on. That's about that. This is the entrance to the main street, as you can see. They're selling nice thingy. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> so cute, actually. Ah. You want me to buy you Sayang? No. <laughs> Photographers also here. Um, well, and this is the main street. As you can see, very, very busy. And well, I don't know where to go, what to do, but uh, it's busy. That's without wow. any doubt. Well, I... <laughs> wow, super packed. So this is actually the main street of the Chinatown. So on the left, on the right side, you see how 
busy, crowded, and even in the street. Wow, I saw also there are so many police officers. I think that just because of the Chinatown, they really, really, you know, make sure that everything is secure. And also, I think they have a nice ambulances here, huh? Very nice, very clean. Okay, let's go. Check this out, this Chinese looking billboards and this old bus, Hino. This is very actually nice, as you can still feel the very uh, Asian vibes here. And yeah, I think we're actually hitting this direction. This is more into food. The previous direction is more into, um, you know, clothes and all of the stuff. Uh, well, Chinatown here is very popular for the street food and there's so much to eat here. And we are already hungry, so it's time to find something to eat. We are crossing the street. <laughs> That's actually also an experience. And yeah, here we go. Of course, durian must be. That's what... Honey, look at, they have a cut. You want a cut? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a look what's going on here. I will put my camera a little bit higher to show you around how busy is it over here. Also, as you know, we got the brand new microphone, so I hope so the sound quality and voice quality today is better. Meanwhile, looking for some foods. Uh, here we go, the fruits. Very nice. Coconuts, watermelons, patient fruit. Actually, I should have a patient fruit juice. Uh, last time I love it. I don't know what is this one. Something with durian thingy. Okay, sweetie time. Like this one. Well, it's actually so much foods here, options. And so much people. But I'm gonna tell you, this is Chinese New Year week. But even if there is no Chinese New Year week, it's also very busy. Maybe not as that much, but very busy in general. We found the gyoza. I really like the gyoza here. This is one of my favorite foods here. Two. Two. Two portions. Two portions. Okay. Okay. Two portions. Two portions. Yeah. Two portions. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try. I think I used to eat somewhere here around the gyozas here are very nice. We take the pork one, I'm not into shrimp though. Uh, and yeah, very busy. Somebody sitting here enjoying their time, not sure if we can have a seat anywhere, but if not we're gonna have a we're gonna have a stay here, huh? Alright, our gyoza arrived, they fried nicely in the background, that's the sounds of the tuk tuk <laughs> And look at the crowd of I know we are lucky as we actually got the seat here at the stage <laughs> on the back. Let's try, Saya, let's try. Is that good as we took the two portions actually? Very nice. How is this, huh? One portion cost you 55 baht. Yeah, 55 baht. Yosa in a plate. Yeah, five yosas, 55. That's good, I think, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we just finished our food. So good, the portion, and that one Pepsi cost us around 130 bucks total. Okay. So look at behind me. This is also one nice restaurant, and then look at surround. We actually stuck in the traffic jam. We cannot literally move out because it's that many people actually next to the other store. <laughs> so yeah. That's the Chinese New Year, one day actually before Chinese New Year actually, uh, in Chinatown in Bangkok, check this out, so busy. Um, yeah, let's look for some fruits or something. Yes, let's get let's some try. Dessert. Let's try to go around. And that's the QE actually, trying to, <laughs> so trying to hold your back so you're not going to get lost. This one, the QE, oh my goodness. What they are waiting for actually. And this is like a nice uh, rose ducks here. And the people eating on the street. Nice, nice, very nice. But, uh, uh, what's going on? Some performance at the front, actually. Oh, look at, look at this. Look at this guy, actually. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good one, huh? And they have uh, some performances here. Check this out. So many people dressing also in traditional outfits. And also in the bus, they waving to the people, filming the driver. <laughs> so cool, actually. You know, everybody enjoying their time here in Chinatown. All right, so more, more food and more people. These old buses are actually cool. Not sure if uh, cool to drive, but they're cool looking. 
and well, more and more. This is like a chocolate bun here for 25 bucks. But look at the queue is for everything actually. We were very lucky with the gyoza. They're saying the pomegranate juice here for 50 bucks. Uh, that's actually nice. Pomegranate juice sale. What do you think? One yeah. for 40 baht orange juice here and uh, pomegranate for 50. I think I will take a pomegranate juice. Okay, sale. okay. Yeah, I will okay. take a one pomegranate. One this. And they have also the fruits here. One. And That's this one is orange. Okay, so what we are taking? One orange, one pomegranate, sir? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna show you. They're selling oh. in the bottles Mango. like this one. Oh. What's that? Mango? Mango or pomegranate? Huh? I want a yes. pomegranate. Okay, one this. And this one orange. Yes, one. Orange. So orange is 40 bahts, uh, mango 40 bahts, and the pomegranate 50 bahts, just in case if you ask. Okay. Having our drinks now, and just want to stop here for a while and show you the hustle and bustle, what's going on here. First of all, the guy is selling this very fancy looking uh, attraction decorations here for Chinese New Year's. Tuk Tuk's are literally driving everywhere. Check this out. People trying to cross the street. This is the <laughs> the cool <laughs> coolness of Bangkok. I told you, Tuk Tuk drivers is more professional than uh, you know the driver and too fast and too furious in the movies. <laughs> yeah, they have a very fancy cars. That's for sure. The Tuk Tuk's in general, they could uh, make a Fast and Furious 10, I think, or 11 in Bangkok. I believe that will be actually very cool. Okay, let's have a walk around a little bit. The photographers, everything. Let's have a look maybe on this small street a little bit over here. Uh, this one looks a little bit more cozy here. You can find the Easter bar here and the seafood cafe restaurant. And uh, of course, the iconic tuk tuk on the middle of the street. This is actually, you know. Cool. So, like I told you, when we walk here, I think the more in the you know main main street, we can see that there are so many people coming from different countries. But mostly the foreigners, I mean Westerners, they just come to the small street like this and eat there on those hawker food. Yeah, looks cool, huh? The people enjoying their food, no matter if standing or stayed sitting, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, that's a small alley, also very safe. So I follow one guy actually famous in Instagram in Bangkok and then I think that he promotes the seafood cafe and restaurant which is 900 baht, all you can eat seafood. So what I can say, no wonder. You see, the place packed of people. So as you can see, as Winnie said, it's actually full house. That's probably good price for the seafood. And I'm not personally really into seafood, but I uh, and eat fishes. <laughs> Hold on, um, yeah, there are actually seafood here. And yeah, that's how does it look like. So look at this bus. This bus is actually the uh, restaurant, restaurant on bus. the wheels. Oh my God, very uh, that's, nice. How cool is this, huh? Yes. So yeah, we should try one day. <laughs> this oh, is look the at bus that. Thai bus food. Yes, what's going on, Sai? Super cool. Yeah. Let's so turn a right busy. now here. So yeah. busy, without any dubs. Okay, let's go no, more, show yeah. what we have yeah. here. Now is the time for having some dessert or fruit. Anyway, we are talking today about the Chinatown, so it must be food, so I'm gonna show you more foods here. Um, looks like this one. Everywhere you can find the gyoza, actually. Additionally, they're having a clothes here, and 7-Eleven, of course, must to be everywhere. One thing I realized, the best Chinatown in Southeast Asian countries, here it is, in Thailand, in Bangkok. You see how hustle and bustle life here? <laughs> Very nice idea, that's for sure, I can see that. And that's the crowd of the Chinatown in Bangkok. <laughs> wow. The more night, what I can say is the more people keep coming and coming and then you see the people here walking on the left side or on the right side and in the middle is the heavy traffic. But, you see, <laughs> I know I'm just speechless. <laughs> Super happy to see how the life in Thailand very bustling and very, I don't know, lively. So that's the tuk-tuk stand here and also some people coming here to making the picture. Check this out, the photo session also nice. 
very nice indeed i agree i oh. think i don't oh, look at this one also nice check this out here and here and here hello how are you doing <laughs> oh nice also very nice very nice thank you so much <laughs> thank you yeah so very nice things here sayang so this is like a hangover in bangkok like i said they could film the tokyo drift the hangover they already used to film not for no reason this is actually like a great good crack i could say that check this out hustle and buster and now the tokyo drift with the tuk-tuks like they are warming up and who's gonna be first <laughs> and this uh, guy with the decorations and the people enjoying their time and they are talking well that's bangkok this is the one of the main uh, streets here very nice restaurant with the very nice decor and architecture here so many photographers here making the picture everywhere around i want to show you 360 what's going on because it's so much actually going on around here uh, i lost my wife where she is Sayang, where are you <laughs> Sayang, i'm here i thought i lost you and I just want to show you the beautiful lights here. Hold on, many people coming here to making pictures like this one, like I said, facing the accents, which is actually also very cool. And this is the streets of Chinatown, also very nice. The lights on the streets of the China <laughs> in general. So Look cool, at huh? the lady, it's so pretty. Yeah. yeah. The lights actually are very nice. And well, but it's a little bit traffic jump, so not recommended to drive a car during Chinese New Year in Chinatown. That's, I think, obvious, right? Look at this photographer. Some people have a really creative ideas to making good pictures. Not sure if he's focusing on the Alphard bus or just uh, decorations for the Chinese New Year, though, uh, trying his best. And the lights are so nice, huh? It's so romantic, actually, you know? Of course. Many people saying that if you want to see the very cool Chinese accent during Chinese New Year, you have to come to Bangkok, and especially you have to come to Chinatown in Bangkok. So, what I can say, this is it. That's cool, it's cool. I just want to show you the streets, but I actually, lights from the street here are the best shots, so they are the Chinese lampions the head of the dragon and everything looks like this one so cool let's go there many people coming there to make a picture the lampions the, the red one look at this outfit lady she have it she was making the pictures here we go the bus people enjoying the spectacle but it's very nice uh, lights here that's it's very nice indeed really romantic isn't it <laughs> happy chinese new year for those who celebrate and we do hope that a prosperous year ahead for you and prosperous year all to all of us. <laughs> I hope so. Happy New Year. Gong Si Fa Cha. Also look at here, this mural here. People also making the pictures obviously here, but it's very nice actually, like a little street arts here. Also Chinatown in Bangkok have a characteristic neons, Chinese neons like this one. And that's how it looks the traffic one more time. Well, nothing gonna beat probably the crocodile sat uh, what we saw at the front. Yeah. But uh, all of the stuff is nice. Uh, well, traffic situation and lights everywhere is so colorful and so red. And overall people eating the food wherever they can have opportunity and space. Tuk Tuk's waiting for you. And yeah, that's a Chinatown. You have to be here to feel the vibe, what's going on actually. Uh, there is the phone photographer with the lights and everything, special equipment, professional gear and professional artist as well, the model I mean. And yeah, that's how does it look like. Here is Shanghai and Bangkok, one of the restaurants with the live performance. Uh, this is already like a restaurant and a bar, but it's looking very cool with the murals and they're selling something at the front of the restaurant and this is like a shanghai you know what i mean it's cool everything is cool actually here in chinatown when i was first time i was impressed i'm impressed right now as well because so much is going on that's the most important thing what is more interesting you can find people from all around the world here in chinatown not only chinese people as some people thinking no it's not like that you can find literally people from all around the world and it's so much going on.
All right, still looking for something sweet here today. What's going on here? So much people everywhere around enjoying their foods. Sayang, so busy here, huh? <laughs> wow. I don't know what I can say, guys. Yeah, wow. I don't know. So busy, huh? This guy is selling something uh, like a little dragon so as the decoration. People enjoying their foods, their drinks. People driving actually also between the streets like this one. We are trying to cross the street actually right now. This guy is driving. Wow, so much is going on. So much smoke, so much flavor, so much smells everywhere around. And also me trying to make a video here right now, right here. It's actually more challenging than it looks like on the screen to be honest. Because except as I have to focus on walking, I also have to focus on filming and what to say. But it's very enjoyable. That's with all that. Check this out. So many happy people everywhere around. Unbelievable. So cool. They also have a cannabis here. That's no problem. You can find the drink tea, like a tectaric cannabis tea. And check this out. We are trying to go somewhere. Let's see what we're gonna find. So many people eating and I'm gonna put my camera high. So I just wanna show you how does it look like. Never ending crowds. There are some street performances here also for Chinese New Year. Of course collecting the donations and stuff like this one. That's pretty normal thing. So many people here. Uh, so much is going on. Still looking for something sweet. And we're gonna go slowly to the place where we started. And this pomegranate juices are still tempting, but I already had one. All right, so if you are looking for the exit from this crowd, you have to look for the sign of the Metro MRT. And the name of the street is, looks like this one, so you can easily get back. Because, well, in this crowd over here, what's going on, actually you can get a little bit lost. But uh, people enjoying their foods here, so... Uh, yeah, but that's not helping with anything, but I really like these decorations here. Um, yeah, basically that's how it looks, the main streets of Chinatown in Bangkok. Uh, this is where we are filming, it's Friday, the weekend of the Chinese New Year. But uh, without the Chinese New Year, it's also very similarly vibrant like it's today. Uh, that's very important, as it's always busy. And, well, this is... Uh, everywhere food i just didn't have anything sweet yet but it's okay because i'm already full but and this is the guy with the crocodile actually <laughs> this is the crocodile is at the <laughs> i don't know what this choco texas but looks cool and somebody is filming the lady actually here some other youtubers or vloggers or something yo what's up how are you doing <laughs> It's so cool, huh? Wow. Okay, but we're not gonna distract the production of videos for somebody already. Uh, but still would like to eat something sweet, Sayon. Yeah. Uh, okay, so much food, but not so many dishes. And also the cars sometimes trying to pass by here, so have to be careful. Don't know what this guy is trying to sell you at the front, but uh, his marketing strategy are very good. Dressing like this one, and I'm happy with the people. we go. Oyster bar, oyster so bar. So what I can say that the vibe here is just like, you know, very Chinese Asian like. You see that people eating on the street, ordering the food, you know. So nice, very, what I, I don't know, this is like very bustling, you know. <laughs> very bustling. And also, Super in cool. case if you are sleepy, you can always go to the ganja shop. Why not? Because they have it everywhere. This girl's car is so much stuff. Okay, basically the metro station is there and this is the street leading to the, all of this uh, busy part of Chinatown. But here, on the other side of the street, there is like a bazaar with the fruits. So many fruits actually, like a more, um, more local-like vibe, I could say. Uh, you can have a fruit, probably fruit from this for this and I'm gonna have it. Uh, it's also a little bit more darkish here. Uh, yeah, okay. And also I saw something there very interesting. Let's go, huh? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look. Let's see. And somebody grabbed the taxi. Hopefully for meter. And yeah, actually uh, they jump to the taxi and they switch on the meter. But I believe the girl uh, must be a Thai because the taxis here, they don't want to switch on the meter. It's really, I mean, I never took a taxi with the meter. They always want to have a hundred or five hundred, but depends where you're going. But I saw it as when they enter this couple, he switched on the meter. 
Oh well. <laughs> so look at this beautiful uh, temple. Wow. Colorful with the lantern. And I think this area is more local vibe. You see people who are eating there. I think that more local, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's have a look. Let's see what is here. Maybe I can find my dessert eventually here. Um, it will be nice. I mean, I don't know what this lady is selling, but I think this is not the dessert though. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's more local and more cozy here, more quieter. That's for sure. But you can find the people from around the world here as well. That's no difference actually. Also, the selection of the food is slightly different, I believe. Oh, and this is the main Chinatown market or mall actually. We have the very nice decorations and they have a Starbucks already. <laughs> Not going to the Starbucks, but the decorations are nice with the mall. And check this out, this dragon actually jumping off from the, from the door line. Actually nice. So happy as I visited this place as well. Even in small. I know some of you guys, every single day I make a video commenting. I don't like saying the malls, but this is part of the Asian culture. If you don't like the malls, don't come to Asia. <laughs> Because the malls in Asia are gonna be always. One thing, where is the place where you can cool down yourself after the heat? Going to the mall. <laughs> all right, guys, I think that's all our video today from Chinatown. How is hustle and bustle Chinatown at night? And thanks for watching. See you tomorrow from Thailand.